200 boats sailing up Hobart's River Derwent, signalling the start of the Australian Wooden Boat Festival, attracting spectators from all over. Passionate people are infectious and you just like to be around people who love something and have an energy for something. And I think that's why it's such a successful festival. Each vessel has a story to tell. The Britannia is steeped in Tasmanian history, made on Cape Barren Island and recently sealed with a fresh coat of varnish. Because we didn't have a wooden boat festival in 21, a lot of people didn't do much to their boat over that period of time. Yeah, nice to see you. Anne was reunited with the boat of her childhood, a fishing boat that provided her family's livelihood growing up. Very emotional. It's a lot of changes for the, you know, it's better than what she was, of course, but yeah, yeah, quite emotional. The festival is also about showing off boat builders, a craft passed down for thousands of years for Aboriginal Tasmanians. When I do it all the time, I'll just, my, my spirit inside is just jumping up in a foot drawer, you know, and teaching the young ones, you know what I mean, and my family and that kind of stuff, you know, I just like, I like sharing things. And like I can do it when I'm older and pass it on to the next generation. This is the James Craig. It's a festival favourite and it's the biggest sailing ship in Australia. It boasts three masts and it was actually deliberately sunk here in Tasmania for 30 years before it was restored. It's one of 11 tall ships at the festival, the most the festival has ever had. Alexandra Alvaro, ABC News.